It's that nigga with the cool and mellow shit for your ass. Laying low. Laying low in the cut. Okay, now whoa there, whoa there. Now hold up, them hoes that was on my whoa there. What is good? Oh my lord. Today, we have a Wi-Fi battle against Dragon King. Was it 00? Zero, zero, Dragon King 00? Zero, zero, Dragon King 100? I don't know, I don't know. I'm using the team, my man, Great Bastard, the greatest of all bastards. He gave me this team um, and had a Conk Elder on it, so I decided to use it. And he is using a somewhat, um, I mean, it's kind of weird. His team is kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. Um, but anyways, I'm going to decide to lead off with my Landers because it's, it's literally the most threatening Pokemon to his team. Um, yeah, I'm, my plan is to get up my rocks, kill his Tentacruel, and proceed to cause some destruction. Hopefully you guys checked out the Pokemon wrap I uploaded yesterday. If you haven't, go peep that and then come back and watch this video. Now we're going to get into the battle. Uh, he's going to go ahead and lead off with a Celebi. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Landris. Now, I mean, like I said, my Landris is the most threatening Pokemon to his team. And that's specifically because this Landris is a special Landris with a uh, U-turn on it. And it looks like he predicted the U-turn and actually switched up to his Tentacruel. I was hoping to... I don't know. There, I, there was no way I was going to Earth Power there, so that was a good move on his part. So he switches in his Tentacruel as I U-turn out to my uh, Tyranitar. I'm going to take this opportunity. Um, I know that he is going to be forced to Rabbit Spin if I set up my Rock's first turn, so he's probably going to do that. Uh, but he's actually going to go for the Toxic here as I do set up my Stealth Rocks. Now, I set up my Stealth Rocks so he'd be forced to stay in and go for the Rabbit Spin, and then I'd be able to get some Crunch Damage off on this Tentacruel. Because, I mean, the fastest way to get rid of a Tentacruel is to attack it. And by making him stay in, I'm able to get off a pretty big hit on him with the Crunch. Since he doesn't seem to be physically defensive, I actually don't have any attack EVs on this Tyranitar. So I was actually surprised that this Crunch did this much. Unless, maybe, this is just how much Crunch does to this Tentacruel in general. I don't know. But it seemed to do a bit more than I thought it would. Because I don't have any attack EVs at all. But luckily, I got the defense drop. So that means that he's most likely going to switch out. So I can predict that and go for the Pursuit next turn. And I catch his ass. No, you ain't getting away. <laughs> Die. So I get the Tentacruel out of the way very, very early, which is, I thought would be good because, you know, I can set up my rocks now and not have to worry about anything. But he's going to make the good play here. He goes out to his Heatran, and it has Substitute. And like I said, I don't have any attack EVs on this Tyranitar. Not only that, but I don't have any moves that would even do any damage to this uh, Heatran here. My only move... To do the, mo the move that I have that will do the most damage is Crunch, and my other moves are Pursuit and Ice Beam. So I'm going to be forced to switch out here. I did get in my rocks before I switched out, but I go out to my Keldeo. I wanted to force him to switch out by hitting with two Surfs, or at least hitting with one Surf, sorry. Uh, but he goes for the Flamethorn, and that's quite a bit. So I'm thinking that his Heatran is max special attack uh, with Flamethrower, because that did a lot. It did like almost 40%. <laughs> um, but anyways, I go for the Surf, and... Um, he goes for the HP Grass, and I'm like, um... HELLO?! What year is it? 2009? HP Grass Heatran in this bitch? I feel you, my nigga. I feel you. I lose my Keldeo very, very early. Now here, um... I mean... I probably could have played this better. I mean, it, it takes its toll. Playing so many bad players that don't do things that good players do, it takes its toll. Because normally I would have double switched right there and gone to my, you know, maybe my lander is expecting him to bring in his Celebi. Because obviously his Celebi is going to be some sort of a wall to my Conk Elder. But like I said, it takes its toll. Playing so many bad players, you don't expect, when you finally play a good player, they're going to shit on you because, I don't know, it's just, it's very difficult to explain. <laughs> it's very difficult to explain. So I go for the bulk up and I go for the ice punch and it does like a shit ton of damage. But he has the psychic and I have a lot of special defense EVs and it still does a lot. Um, now here I make another bad move, I was expecting him to maybe go for the recover, but he actually stays and goes for the psychic again. Um, I mean, he does a lot of damage to my, um, it's fine. And that's very bad, I mean, I didn't have to do, I could have just switched to my Tyranitar to be honest, and use Crunch or Pursuit, but um, I was expecting him to use recover and I didn't want him to switch out to his Heatran and set up the substitute again. Speaking of Heatran, setting up substitute, here he goes out to his Latios, I'm going to overthink the entire play and go for the Earth Power, expecting him to bring in his Heatran as I bring in my Tyranitar to set up Substitute on it. So I'm just thinking way too much here. I could have, like, obviously I didn't know he was going to stay in with his Latios and he's fucking Charge Beam. But I could have switched out there and, um, I mean, I don't know, I kind of wasted the turn there. So did he, but it's more beneficial to him that I wasted my turn. So anyways, he's going to go straight for the Surf now as I switch into my Tyranitar, just this Death Fodder. I figured he'd do that. Um, so anyways, he's going to go for another serve. Take me out. That's a date, nigga. And now I'm going to send out my Latias. This is pretty much the only thing I have left because this Latias is going to destroy my entire team if I don't do this. 
Um, I go for the Calm Mind here because I was bluffing the Choice Guard. So I knew he'd probably switch out to his Heatran. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. Now here I'm wishing I didn't go for the Substitute. But at this point there was no way I couldn't, there's no way I could have known that his Heatran uh, was Substitute 3 attacks. There's no way I could have possibly known that. I don't even think it is Substitute 3 attacks to be honest. Because he didn't use Earth Power on my Tyranitar. He used Flamethrower. Maybe he just thought I'd switch out. I don't know. Um, here I go for the Substitute though. Uh, I, if I had not gone for the substitute, I would have been able to uh, live the Draco Meteor from his Latios after I kill his Conch Elder. But either way, I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse, which is going to be a definite 2 to KO after the Combine. Um, he's going to break my substitute with an Ice Punch. Now here I was hoping he didn't go for the Mach Punch, because if he did go for the Mach Punch, he would be able to, no, without a doubt, take out my Latios. At this point, I had no idea what he would uh, be able to kill me with. Um, but he didn't even go for the Mach Punch anyway, so I'm pretty glad for that. But it turns out that it doesn't even matter because he's going to send out his Latios. I was hoping it had Dragon Pulse because he had the Charger Beam. So I was thinking that it'd be more beneficial to him to have Dragon Pulse with Charge Beam. So I knew a Dragon Pulse wouldn't kill me is what I'm trying to say. But it turns out that he does have the Draco Meteor and he is going to be able to take me out even though I am a plus one. Which is pretty bad because now I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. Now this is where I make my huge, huge, huge mistake. HUGE! This is the only regrettable play I made. I switched up to my Jirachi. The heat transfer switch is so obvious. And I didn't double switch to my Landers. I knew for a fact he would bring in his heat transfer. As soon as I clicked Calm Mind with my Jirachi, I was like, God damn it, why didn't I switch back to Landers? That was literally the only play I was mad about. Other than that, all the other moves are pretty much, you know, I can I can salvage my, my battling, even though I made all those other dumb plays. But this was the only move that I made that is going to be troublesome because now his Heatran's out and his, I need his Heatran dead to even have a chance of winning. If his Heatran died, I might have had a chance of winning. Eh, I'm not really sure actually. I think it was Lost Cause at this point because I let my Conk Elder take so much damage. God damn it. <laughs> Good loudy wody. Um, but anyways, I don't know why he went for that substitute just now, but I guess it doesn't even matter because his Flamethrower is doing way too much damage. Look, it's doing like 60 something percent even though I'm at plus one, so I'm pretty sure the thing is max special attack. It has to be. He's doing too much damage. And I'm all nice and lemony over here. Um, but yeah, he's going to go for another flamethrower. Um, I mean, I don't really have many choices here. Um, I can't switch out because both my landers and my Conk Elder will die. Fuck! <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't even go for the Mach Punch here because I wanted to see if I can live with flamethrower because I do have so much special defense. But he gets a critical hit, so it doesn't even matter what your name is. <laughs> Last Pokemon is It's Fine. I'm going to go for the Focus Blast in case he wants to be a faggot and switch out. Yeah, I said it. And um, he doesn't switch out. He just stays and lets me kill him. So I'm going to lose this battle 2-0. Good game, Dragon King 100. Wait, is it 100 or 0-0? Zero, zero? I don't even know, man. I really don't. I don't know. But I do know that he's going to kill me with a Surf. So GG's. I got smacked. Popped. I just made a bunch of bad moves. I gotta think more before I play. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you can, please check out that Pokemon rap I uploaded yesterday. And bye!